Welcome back to Empress Radio, where we do trending topics and reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or a website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. I know I've been talking about a lot of different topics, so I appreciate you guys and all the support in me branching out because, like I said, Love and Mayor Tunsville, it's just a lot going on. Like, you know, with the cats always threatening to sue bloggers and just like, I don't know, it's just negative sometimes. So I wanted to talk about something positive, and that's Melody Cherie and her uh, Black Excellence. Uh, you know, she's just showing a lot of Black Excellence. So she's been mentioned in the Black Wall Street. Um, so I'm going to get into the article now. Um, but yeah, shout out to Melody Cherie. She's been doing uh, big things, you know. Okay, so this is the Black Wall Street Times. So as you guys could see, if I move all these ads, celebrity Melody Cherie hosts a black tie affair with guest Hill Harper. So Love and Marriage Huntsville star Melody Cherie to host Mimosas with Melody, which is a black tie affair with Hill Harper and celebrity guests. So Melody Cherie, oh my God, how many ads are there? Melody Cherie, a distinguished business mogul and the leading figure of Owen's Top-rated reality TV series, Love and Mary Tunsville, yes, put some respect on her name, is set to host the fourth edition of her celebrated event, Mimosas with Melody. This notable gathering will take place at um, Baltimore, Baltimore Ballrooms, located at 817 West Peachtree um, in Atlanta, Saturday, March 30th. Moreover, the year's Mimosas with Melody under the theme, A Time for Change, marks a unique iteration of the highly anticipated women's empowerment and business convergence. Michigan U.S. Uh, Senate candidate actor Hill Harper. And you guys know they've been friends for a while now. People were suspecting that they might be dating, but she said many times that, that she's not dating him. They're just friends. But I, I like this this friendship, you know. Um, the event, a distinguished black tie affair, will host a fundraiser segment for the accomplished lawyer, actor, and political aspirant uh, Hill Harper, who is campaigning for a seat in the U.S. Senate. In addition, the program will also feature panels for both women and men. Special invitees feature a notable list of personalities renowned actress and model claudia jordan successful entrepreneur courtney adele adelaide um and the multi-talented actress and singer drew sador are included esteemed businesswoman dr shanita foster celebrated actor darren henson and influential uh, influential music executive devin stevens will also attend famed celebrity stylist jay bolin and well-known celebrity publicist ivan thomas are among the guests other notable features from the community and business sectors will join them as well discussions topic uh, discussion topics will focus on several areas the uh, these include improving unity within the black community and education they also cover entrepreneurship and leveraging the black the power of the black dollar other issues will be discussed um so melody says i am very excited to host my fourth melody uh, with mosa's event it is typically right. about inspiring women but this time i believe it's time to inspire our entire race melody Sheree said my good friend hill is running for u.s senate so this year i have made it a co-ed event which will include our first ever men's panel it's about like-minded people coming together to show support of unity so this is all the people that are going to be there oh miss fan um so empowering dialogue, shaping futures through women's and men's panel discussions. The panel will be as following. Sorry, they're doing the trash today. Um, women's panel, best year ever, maximizing your time and talent to create the life you want. 
real boss moves, taking control of your spiritual, personal, and financial life. And then the men's panel, grind mode, what it really means to take the lead. Harper is currently navigating a challenging Democratic uh, primary contest for the vacant U.S. Senate seat in Michigan, competing against Alessa Slotkin, who is leading the race. Harper, celebrated for roles in The Good Doctor, CSI New York, is also an author, philanthropist, and Harvard Law School peer of president barack obama and recently my dad and me were watching this movie it was like called the breed or something like that it was with like a lot of dogs and the dogs were chasing them and it had um it had him in it and i was like oh that's hill harper and it had the girl from orange is the new black and someone else said i anyways but I, I had seen him recently on a movie he was young anyways further um he is motivated by a desire to repair the flaws in america's system with a particular focus on labor issues his efforts are aimed at improving the welfare of the middle class hence melody sharia is offering her support she is also facilitating a platform for meaningful conversations among influencers and community leaders to benefit participants melody sharia shares why she's supporting her friend harper she says he has genuine care and love for our people. Um, we have seen him advocate for on the ground for the Flint water crisis and everything else from adopting a son, having a long lasting career in media and in entertainment, and really just being a positive role model and example for black people for a long time, she says. Is that the end of the article? Yeah, I think that's how it ends, you guys. So. All right, so you guys heard that. Yeah, so like you said, this is the type of thing that should be on the show. Instead, we bring back Destiny Chick Med. That makes no sense because you guys know that um, uh, Nell Fletcher had posted that Destiny was probably going to be on the show. You guys could really see the filming uh, crew in the background and stuff. So this is what Nell Fletcher had posted and deleted showing that Destiny is going to be on the show. And then a lot of people are like, we just want black excellence. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is this clip here. Sorry, guys, technical difficulties. All right, so, yeah, you guys saw that. So, it looks like Destiny is going to be back, and people are like, why? Um, but, yeah, so, hey, Caramorel. Uh, yes, Mel, yeah. Hey, hey, guys. Um, but, yeah, so, anyways, um, yeah, it's just interesting that Carlos King is just making this show that started off to be Black Excellence into, like, Destiny and her pouty face, as you know, like, we're so tired of seeing Destiny's face, you like, looking all mean all the time. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, like, Happy that Melody at least is showing us a little bit of Black excellence, you know, on the show. Hopefully it'll be aired because, you know, like every time she shows her um her chorus or anything good on the show, they take it off. Like they just don't. And then they cut off all of her mom scenes and let like Betty come on there, Betty Kruger. Um, and we're just like, what happened to the Black excellence that you told us that the show was going to be about? You know, um, it's time Black people are supported and elevated because uh, there are those of us who are really trying to do our best to elevate in society really exactly and that's why I've been like talking about other topics you know like if you guys notice and look on my page I've literally been trying to rebrand my channel into not just a love and marriage Huntsville page because I don't want to be not not associated with the show I just don't want that to be my brand just being like a solely love and marriage Huntsville uh, YouTuber you know um so yeah just I appreciate you guys um support because you guys have been really showing out especially like the videos with Diddy and stuff um they've been doing pretty good um one live stream I had like 30,000 people um watching that live so I was just happy about that um but yeah so I'm definitely going to be branching out to different topics and like I said I appreciate you guys watching the other topics because that's what makes you like want to do it you know um i've been actually feeling so much better like not having to talk about love and marriage huntsville all day every day you know um so yeah that's really my goal right now is to focus on rebranding we're still going to talk about love and marriage huntsville of course like i'm not boycotting the show or anything crazy like that but i will be talking about other topics and stuff um uh, reality shows training topics even tv shows i know i'm definitely going to review um house of the dragons when it comes back on and also um 
this show called Interview with a Vampire right now is like my favorite show. It's so good, you guys. If you guys um, haven't seen it on AMC, check out Interview with a Vampire. I love that show. So yeah, we're definitely going to be putting some like actual series on the channels, uh, series reviews and reality TV. I know when Real Housewives of Atlanta comes back, I'm definitely going to be um, talking about that because they, they are really bringing it. It's been a lot going on with like Portia and stuff. Uh, did you guys see that Simon uh, like uh, put a cease and desist for Bravo to not film in his house at all? Like Portia thought she was going to film in his house and Simon's like, no, you're not. <laughs> so he made proof that on the D like, oh, um, yes, uh, Portia is not allowed to film in, in his house. So <laughs> Simon is just so petty. She really met her match with that one. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, I just want to, like, on the topic of Black excellence, like, move my brand elsewhere and not just on Love and Marriage Hunt still, you know, because it's really a sinking ship at this point. I don't know how many more seasons they're going to have, but I don't want my whole channel to be dedicated to that anymore, you know? Um, so even if I have to, like, tank in my algorithm, like, my algorithm it's kind of down right now in terms of love marriage transfer videos, but um, it's because I'm not just talking about it all the time. So it's like my, like YouTube is like, what are you doing right now? So my ag algorithm is just a little bit off. I noticed like some of the videos aren't being pushed as much as they normally would, but that's okay. Cause like I said, I'm just in a mood to like rebrand right now. Like that's what I'm like doing right now. It's like rebranding. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I love House of the Dragons. That is my show. Like uh, Game of Thrones was my show and everything. That's good to be versatile. Yeah. Cause I mean, for a while, like, I felt like my fans were kind of, like, putting me in a box. Like, you only want to watch Love and Marriage Huntsville. And then I can't talk about anything else because you guys weren't watching. But right now, I've noticed that you guys really have been watching and interested in other topics. And that makes me feel better that I could, like, branch out and have you guys support, you know. So, I really appreciate that, for real, for real. <laughs> uh, greetings. <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey, Kat, E. Lloyd. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, I'm just sitting here. My baby sleep on my arms. Um, and, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Like, just shout out to Melody for bringing Black Excellence back and um, Hill Harper, you know, like she's actually like in touch with people who are running for U.S. Senate. Like you're rubbing shoulders with politicians, you know, while we have Destiny soaking, <laughs> looking on me. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, that's all I had to say, you guys. Um, these castmates will always lay in the cut and have an evil agenda for Mel while Carlos approved of all of this. Also sabotaging her to work with another enemy. I hate to miss the show, but yeah, miss me. Right, yeah, it's just too much, you know, and it's Carlos King, like, he's the one who's bringing his shows down, you know, um, we'll probably talk about that in another video, like, Carlos King sabotaging his own show, like, just to be messy, like, like, he wants to bring mess so bad that he's, like, in this whole Sunny and Moses saga with with Destiny, and isn't Sunny pregnant? So you're bringing drama to a pregnant person like willingly. He did the same thing with Tiffany, where Tiffany was like about to like pass out or something on camera, you know, like just because you want to have drama all the time, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm just like I'm not feeling it because <laughs> you guys know my last three months of pregnancy, I did not do no YouTube videos. I'm like, nope, I'm not about to have no negativity. But yeah, Carlos King, he don't care. He don't care if you're pregnant. He don't care if you're like going through it, suffering like all the times Melody, she literally has to have like a therapist on set uh, to deal with these crazy people, you know, uh, top of the morning. <laughs> Do you guys remember that song? Um, was it Kendrick Lamar? I forgot who it was, but in the beginning, it's like, top of the morning, top of the morning. Top. I loved that song. Anyways, um, he's a one trick pony. He really is. All his shows really have the same formula. Like, drama like pick somebody and everyone goes against them like he'll like turn on his own castmates and stuff like carlos king he's something else um but yeah anyways that's all i really had to say you guys um i'll be back for some more videos uh today at some point because it's the end of the month and i really was burnt out but i think sometimes it's not that i'm burnt out i just don't want to talk about the show and i'd be like that's all that the topics that there is so as soon as there's something else i'll hop on that because i don't just i don't even want to be wanting to talk about this show sometimes you know especially with all the cast always like threatening to sue bloggers and they're just doing too much they took the fun out of it like half the time i'm like deleting videos like as soon as i post them because like i just don't even like care to like it's not worth going to court over this dumbass show you know so i'm like here if you want it you can have it you know i'll take it down you know um, I saw Sunny on a Tubi movie yesterday. It was pretty good. Yeah, Sunny is trying to be in front of the camera now. I don't know. She's kind of sleazy, but hey, okay, whatever. Um, that's why they're failing. Yeah, for sure. That is why they're failing. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that's all I had to say, you guys. Hopefully you support um, the other videos that I do uh, this week, today, and everything. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye.